Okay, everybody, so I have uh, footage from um, Monday's vlog. So Monday's vlog was supposed to be, of course, Friday's vlog, and um, yeah, so if you go back to the last video, or I'll actually I'll link it up here so you can um, go look at it easier, but there's footage of us going thrift shopping, and that kind of pertains to this video. So as you can tell from the title, this is, um, hang on, sorry, I'm stupid, let me look up, <laughs> um, so, yeah, as you can tell from the title, this is the Goth on a Budget Goth Challenge, Outfit Challenge. And um, I found this, I don't know if somebody started this before or if these two started it, but it's um, Mama Goth did a video. Once, once again, I'm kind of going off of what she's done. It looks like I'm doing this on purpose, but it's not. It's just that she's um, really quick at doing these and um, I don't know. She's earned all her subscribers because she's really good at coming up with these ideas. And she did hers as a collab where they kind of like, um, her and another channel did this together um, at, around the same time um, and then put their videos out. Anyway, so she did the collab with House of Wyvern and um, I really like their channel a lot. Um, uh, yeah, so I just, I watched both of their videos and thought this was a cool idea and I had kind of been thinking about doing something similar. Um, before I saw their video. Anyways, I had thought of doing something similar bit before I saw their video, and um, yeah, so I thought I would go ahead and do mine. Um, but yeah, so theirs was they couldn't spend because they're in Europe, so I think it was under 50 pounds or 50 euros, something like that. But I decided to go like a step further and do 20, and um, I'm in the US, so 20 American dollars and um, do Play. three outfits Play. specifically, Play. three outfits, and then their second it's rule was um, you cannot go to an alternative shop, which here in the United States is pretty near impossible unless you live in like, yeah. I don't know, maybe California and maybe New York City, um, or, you know, Hot Topic, but I wouldn't count that, okay. not anymore. Nancy, um, Nancy. Not since like the very early 2000s has that had like any goth clothes pretty much. They do sell some Killstar stuff, I have noticed that. Um, but that's pretty much it. A lot of their stuff is real pop culture now, which is cool. I do like going in there. Sometimes they've got some pretty cool stuff, and they've still got cool accessories and um, stuff like that, and band shirts sometimes. Um, but yeah, so, um, we went, if you'll go look in the vlog, we went to the Goodwill. I guess I could put a little clip in here of me looking through all the black clothes. Um, so that was my goal, um... Uh, or my plan of attack, sorry, my plan of attack was just to go in there and look through all of the sections that were either black clothing or gray clothing because those are the two main colors of my wardrobe. But yeah, so let me get my receipt and my bag and then we will go through what we got. And this is really not a good angle, but anyways, okay, so hopefully I'm not backlit. And Lily's reading right here. Um, they have like half price tags pretty much every day, I think. Um, so when I was looking through the black items, I was specifically looking for the tags that were on sale. So today's color was red, and I, I was able to find three outfits of all red things. So everything that I found was half off. So that was my attack plan, was to just get everything half off. So, let me see here. I got the dress is the first thing she has on here. I got this dress. I don't know that you can see it very good. I'll put it on and there will be a clip right here of me wearing this outfit. Um, but yeah, so this is outfit one, which it's one item, but you know, that's, it counts. It's an outfit. And then I'll, there will be a clip here of me wearing just the dress and then a clip of me wearing the dress with an accessory over the top that I already own. Um, but yeah, so this dress was, let me look here. Um, it was $8.38 originally at their like full price, but since it was discounted 50% off, um, it was like $4.20. Um, yeah, so that's item one that I purchased. Um, then the, the next item would be, I think these shorts. So these shorts were, um, also red tag in the summer section. Most of the stuff I look for was summer because I don't need to buy outfits and other stuff. Mostly just summer stuff. Um, but yeah, so I got these shorts. They're a little oversized, but they fit okay with the drawstring. And I kind of liked this, um, kind of tribal-y pattern. Um, but yeah, they're super cute and comfy. And these were three thirty-three to start with. Is that right? 
Yeah, 333 to start with. And, um, yeah, so they ended up being a dollar sixty-seven. Okay. Um, but yeah, so those, and then to go with that, I got this shirt, and this shirt, all the shirts are, I believe, around five dollars. So I got them for like two fifty. So that full outfit, less than five dollars. Um, so so far, all outfits under no, totally all outfits under five dollars. Um, but yeah, so that's the second one. And then this skirt was also three thirty three, so you know, like a dollar and some change. Yeah. Um, just a plain black, stretchy material, really comfy black okay. skirt. And I have some pencil skirts, but stretchy, this is less like a pencil skirt. It doesn't come up as high, and then uh, it just fits a little looser. Um, but yeah, so it'll be really good for summer when it's super hot. And then for that one, I got this shirt. Like I said, these were five dollars, so I got it for about two fifty, and it has these cute a full bottom and then this is a size yeah, small and I'm not sure if this is a plus size or what because it actually fits me even though it's and a small and a small would never fit me in like a million years so I think this might be a plus size brand um, but it's like a crop top and it is so cute yeah so all three outfits five, around five dollars each so I was under budget by five dollars um, if I had not gone and found things for half price, I would you probably have gone over budget. Um, so but I would have still been me. way under the budget that um, was dealt out for the other... It was more you get to have. It Sorry, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The, the budget I set for myself, I would have gone over a little bit, but I would have still been under the budget from the it original challenge. Um... But yeah, I just, I knew if I went to a thrift store here in the United States, they're pretty cheap, and usually all of them have half price tags at least once a week, if not every day. But yeah, so that was why I picked the $20, because I knew that I very likely could find three outfits under $20. So, if you guys do this challenge, you can either do it with the rules from the original um, challenge that you can check out. I'll put the link below in the description for Mama Goth's video and also House of Wyvern's video. Um, so if you want to follow their original rules, then you can do that. If you like to up your game, um, or if you're in the United States and you know you can do it too for under $20, then you can try with my rules, which is specifically to find the three outfits specifically under $20. And, um, of course, like they said, not at an alternative store, but still in your style. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I don't know who specifically, it's not really a tag video, you know it's a challenge so anybody can do it. So if you guys would like to do it, um, definitely try it out. It was fun shopping. Um, I really was worried for a while I wasn't going to find enough things with the red tag. Um, but yeah, and I was really unwilling to go over my budget today. So um, it worked out good and I'm like super excited that I was able to do it. These are actually things I will wear and it's going to be great. You'll probably see... The two outfits in my summer lookbook, watch out for that. It will be coming out in, I think, June. June sometime will be the summer lookbook video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel or, you know, check out some other videos and then consider subscribing. Um, I really appreciate all the support you guys would give me and those that already support me. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, but yeah, so we'll see you guys on Friday.